Hello and ahoy. This is the news. Theodore McGavin of Arkansas was arrested Sunday morning when a police officer caught him having sex with a stuffed animal inside of his truck. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's sad. Morgavin now faces two charges of sexual indecency and a potential career in the Biden administration. Oh, that's good for him. Looks like a luggage thief. Yeah. Well, makes sense. In her new autobiography, Britney Spears has made the stunning claim that she had an abortion with... Uh, with Justin Bieber, uh, Justin Bieber, <laughs> different Justin Timberlake, more musically talented. Uh, she had his baby and she aborted it, sadly. Not to be outdone, though, Simon and Schuster has uh, made a shocking claim that Britney Spears wrote her own book. So, stunning. Yeah, stunning and brave. For the second straight week, alopecia spokesperson Jada Pickens Smith <laughs> has publicly humiliated Will Smith after she said Tupac was her soulmate. Mm. I imagine being married to Jada is a lot like owning a chihuahua as a pet. It's high maintenance, it bites you constantly, and because your kids like it, you don't want to just kill it. <laughs> and welcome <laughs> to Normal World. <laughs> hey. Hey, how are you? I'm Dave Landau. I'm Cordell Blake Garrett. And that's Angela. Hi, I'm Angela. Hello, Angela. Hi. And the host of the Sex DR, sh Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll. I said <laughs> oh, You were right the first DR. time. SDR. Sex DR. Oh, I like that too. SDR, I like. The, the host of SDR. The owner of Gas Digital. Co-owner, I guess. Co-owner. Co-owner. But please welcome my friend, Ralph Sutton. How are you guys? Thank you for coming on, buddy. Wow. Thank you very much. I just said buddy to a man who's a foot taller buddy than Buddy old pal. <laughs> I feel like it's... How you doing, Chip? <laughs> hey, champ. <laughs> Skipper. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> chief. No one's ever said chief and not meant a derogatory. I got an email the other day where someone, because I was pissed off and I sent a shitty email to a company yeah. and he wrote back, you know, don't worry about it, chief. I'm like, I don't need your stupid fucking platitudes. It's <laughs> so dumb. There's no way that's ever not meant to piss you off. No, it's uh, meant to hurt. Yeah. What it's was degrading. the company? I'm, boner pills? It was boner pills. I know. I've written the same angry email. Like, <laughs> These things don't work. No, like, my, no. My dick is soft surf. <laughs> dot com. Doesn't help me. Well, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having Glad me. you came in from New York. And today, uh, to get right into it, do you remember Greta Thunberg? I do. I asked you uh, off air how old she is now. Uh, -huh. uh well you're lucky she's legal which yeah, I, I was wondering if, it, if it's was... inappropriate to be <laughs> masturbating but yeah. i don't know <laughs> yeah, it's definitely <laughs> well we know there was a countdown <laughs> clock for that gal but she's also i remember she's like really tiny she's like under five feet yes. i think yeah i think so i'm like not a really small European. yeah like you could go with her and yeah. just feel like finally a, feel finally feel like a man it's a big big fella <laughs> like, look at me I'm like oh well, really? made it mom look <laughs> Yeah, she's 4'11". Uh, she's 4'11". Four 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 really yeah. Wow. Wow, like that a, is... a hobbit. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> she's got a lot wrong with her. I mean, right with her. Whatever you have to say to stay on YouTube. Yeah, whatever it is. But earlier today, she was arrested at a climate change protest in London. And we have the actual footage of the arrest. Lightning and the Thunberg. Oil's bad. It's not good. Oil's bad. Not really good. Thunberg. Thunberg. Pollution's bad. Okay, all right. Uh -oh. What what's going on here? You know this is private property. No, I'll just. You understand this is a bank for paying customers. Do you have an account with this nice establishment I'm, here? I'm saving the world. Uh, you're not really saving the world, so it's time to go. No, this is for no real people only. How about you let me off and I'll get you off? No, no, it's. Like, please stop saying sexual things. I, please stop it. I could melt your pants, Glacier. No, okay. With time my to get. You're gonna get hit now. warming. <laughs> yeah, now you're getting hit again. <laughs> I don't want to touch you, but you got to go to the cop car oh, for scared. sexual harassment I'll because you're you. gross. I'll so, place you orally. No, no, if you keep saying that, I'm going to hit you again. Just go to the cop car. Serious stuff there. By the way, she looks yeah. awful for 20. I know. Yeah, she's really rough. You know, it's a, it's the global warming. It's she has not aged well. No, she hasn't. I it's think all those nights in the pin. That's why they took her out of the limelight as being the spokesperson for the end of the world. They're mm -hmm. just like, you look terrible now. I would think by looking at her originally, she didn't seem so orally fixated. It's fascinating. No, she's more into it now. Okay. I think there's a bottom you hit. I mean, you, as you get older, I think you get more into it. Yeah. Like, like anal play. Like as you get older. Yeah. She when, picked it up in Germany when she was in jail. Oh, yeah. Norway. Yeah. There's a lot I mean, of... Germans will get you into a lot of things. You yeah. know, big J watch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Actor Jay has opened me up to a lot of crazy porn, by the of way. Of course he has. Oh, my God. He's a great dude. Great dude, but he likes some fucked up shit. 
He does. He wanted us Call to keep the watching kind of stuff. Well, he oh, wanted to keep watching know. a girl shitting on camera. Like that's a turn yeah. on for him. Well, no, in nineteen, him and Chuck Berry are both big fans of that. It's really <laughs> wild. He just doesn't, I hope, hide cameras in your bathroom. And then he thinks I'm weird that I'm not into it. By the way, that's the thing that's crazy. He's like, yeah. hey man, we're both into this. He's yeah. sitting there eating a. This isn't weird at all. <laughs> like, well, you don't like this. <laughs> Like smoking, <laughs> eating a sandwich, watching. <laughs> oh, he's uh, I don't know. I I'm I'm too old to care. It's getting there. It's getting there, man. I'm just at that point where it's like I have I have nieces. It's like, well, that's what I think happened. Also, as Jay's daughter, not became, like that. I mean, like it's be sad if they were broken. Became once Jay's daughter became like 21. He. And he's like, this is somebody's this is probably, daughter. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know? <laughs> he wouldn't, he, we stopped doing, sad. stopped willing to do drugs with me on the air. You know, we would do it. I would try a drug once a year on the air. Yes. And once his daughter became of age, he just doesn't want to do that anymore. Really? Isn't that weird? That's very bizarre. Now I'm the weird one for doing cocaine on a show. Yeah, you but did. Now they're adult. Yeah. They're an adult. Well, he like, had never done a drug. That was never done a drug in my life. So once a year oh, I tried a drug. Okay. Yeah, for six years. What was yeah. your favorite? I didn't like all of them. Not all of them. I'm, I'm not None made for them? drugs. I have like leftover everything in my house i tried them all once and they've all been there for years yeah you have you have the leftover of illegal narcotics in your yeah leftover (laughs) cocaine mushrooms molly well you're in new york no one cares fine but you you don't like molly i don't like any of it because molly made you weird right yeah also because it lasts so fucking long yeah i don't want anything that's eight hours it's It's all party drug man hate it and then you feel like shit the next day so what's why do it no, it's, that's a good point. And I ate a bowl of cereal. That made me feel like shit, too. That, too. Maybe it's just age. It is age. I am fucking old. Yeah, well, I mean, an eight-hour adventure is fine when you're going out with your friends and you're 22. Yeah. yeah. When you're a grown man, it's just re- more of a reminder that you're broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's hard to feel. Yeah. Like, I don't think I could take ecstasy and get the feeling of ecstasy. <laughs> you know what's great? You know is, too much. You like yeah. Too much. yeah. My mom... Follow, like shares everything I post because that's just my, my mom likes to do that. Yeah. yeah. And the episode where we did cocaine, she didn't know. She just shared the episode. And all of her friends are like, why would you share an episode? <laughs> She's like, I'm proud of my baby. Your child <laughs> doing cocaine. He has a show. He's Look at him. Yeah. Look at him. Come on, he's what did she say when she saw the The concert. best snorter out there, my son. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> didn't you do it off someone? Yeah, off a of porn star's ass. If that's you do I cocaine, thought. that's what you got to do. do it, I guess. <laughs> I feel like half the blazes turned this off. Um, <laughs> perfect. Sorry. <laughs> no, I didn't give a. I think it's great. If you're going to do cocaine once in your life, I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. Do it correctly. Off of Ryan Keeley's butt. Yeah. That's how most people do it. <laughs> Literally. She's very busy. The majority of it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Her ass is like a mirrored table in the 80s. <laughs> Just Which we like, wanted to get. I think we marks. should still should get one. Put it right here with He's, like a tiger on it. Or Ryan something. Keeley or a mirrored table? Either one. You know, <laughs> whatever wants to be on all fours. Long. <laughs> like we, we uh, I had a mirrored table with a golden panther on it that I bought in the valley See, when I lived in L.A. Unironically or? Oh, unironically. Oh, well, ironically, because okay. I went there and I was like, so you're just selling your cocaine table from the 80s? <laughs> and we immediately went over there and bought it and like, like, uh, I'm gonna I offered that. him like an extra 10 to make sure we could get it. <laughs> and he could have been happier. But yeah, we just had it in uh, in an apartment. And then I think one of the, oh, like the Hollywood wives of whatever, mm-hmm. you know, one of the producers was there and I walked out of my room and I was sober at the time and it was just like a mountain of cocaine on that table. And I'm thinking like, it is my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you did, you did set the it. stage. Yeah, it is a welcome mat for <laughs> cocaine abuse. It's a good big sign. And sad news though. You guys want to get real sad here? Uh, Susan... Suzanne. Suzanne Summers. Wow, you just showed your age there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, I watched Three's Company, okay? It was on Nick at Night, though. Uh, she passed away. She uh, was battling breast cancer 23 years and uh, passed away. So we will now remember her fondly. Suzanne Summers and the Buttmaster Dancers. First you put your two knees as close up tight And then you move them in and out kind of nice and light You lie down on the floor, time to get out of your rut You move them in and out from side to side, it's great for your butt Woo! Tired of feeling like a big old tub of lard If you use your Buttmaster, you'll get nice and hard You use it every day, no way to firm up faster you wonder how you live without your Buttmaster Okay, R.I.P. She was a legend, man Su- Susan? Yeah, Susan was a legend. <laughs> Susan was the best. <laughs> Susan was great. Susan Somers? I like the, I like the Sally, one. Sally Summers. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it is it is sad though, of course, when anybody has cancer and you know, twenty three like, years though that's that's pretty good. That's like she's especially because she uh, good, fight. good fight refused to take any treatment. That's pretty wild. Oh. That I knew. Yeah. So it's well, a while that she lasted that long. When you're getting those gigs, you don't want to get rid of the gig getters. That's true. It's very. It's just a fact. And I, I will say it's just sad when anybody in your life has cancer. Oh, man, we are getting our asses kicked. Dude, bad call after bad call. This is bullshit. He was, he was out. Oh, my God. See, that's the problem right now. You can't get a good umpire for nothing. Nobody wants to do it. You know, this guy probably got the job after crawling under the barbed wire at Eagle Pass. Yeah, I don't really know about all that. But... I just... Are you even legally allowed to be here, ref? Are you kidding me? Send this guy back on the car door he floated in on. Jack, you can't talk like that. Oh, no, sorry, Frank. I absolutely can talk like that. Don't forget, I had cancer. What does that have to do with anything? Cancer, Frank. Chemo. Radiation. Lost my hair. Insurance covered. <laughs> nothing. And my penis shrank. Okay, yeah, but... But uh, nothing, my... Frank. Okay, sorry. I get the C word, hall pass. Oh, you dropped the ball. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, if that were my sister's ass cheeks, you'd have held on to it. You know how she dates the blacks. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Cancer. This guy almost died. All right. Sorry. It's okay. I just... I had cancer. Oh, I know. Oh, did I tell you I got a new car? No. What'd you get? Well, it's not a new one, but it was just... You know, when I had cancer, I just realized that life is short. And I'm just going to start doing things that make me happy. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, what'd you get? Dude, I got a 1979 Pontiac Firebird Formula. Only 34,000 miles. It's a beast. Oh, dude, that is dope. If you don't mind me asking, what'd you pay? The guy was asking 22, but I Jewed him down to 19. Don't say Jewed him down. It's okay. I had cancer. That doesn't make you Jewish. Check this bad boy out. It's a nice it's a net firebird. Those are children in a in a bathtub. A, a bunch of them. Oh, wrong photo. It, it's okay. I I had cancer. But, but you don't have kids. Where did you get this? Why are they all so skinny and gaunt? Oh, they have cancer. I can't be here. I'm taking this to the police. They won't care. I had cancer. Let's go Tigers! Let's go Tigers! Wow. R.I.P. to Rakita Summers. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is true, though, that if you uh, get cancer, you are also Jewish. It's true. Yeah. Uh -huh. And as a Jewish person, were you okay with that, with what's going on in the Middle East? Because we really had to flip I'm okay with yeah, all of it, that? Isn't okay. that weird? That's yeah. my take on it. Yeah, I think it's, it was just Hot funny. take. Yeah. yeah, I like your hot take, because <laughs> we really were like, I don't know if we put it out, because we use the phrase, but the whole idea is he thinks he can say anything he hey, wants. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I was able to piece that together. I'm glad you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you had to hold on to that sketch until somebody passed away, so. Oh. Yeah, we had to wait. be relevant. <laughs> to so wait for the next celebrity. In, in 97, you've just been holding on to it? Yeah, we just wanted to honor someone with <laughs> the uh, sketch that ends with that. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, who's, uh, okay, so Joe Biden... <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of I'm trying to switch gears, because I don't. Know. <laughs> Joe Biden in the Middle East. Speaking of cancer. Yeah. Speaking of a cancer that won't leave the White House. Is he a cancer? That would be a great segue if he's a cancer. Uh, yeah. He might be. I'll find out. He could be a cancer. He definitely has it. Yeah. Oh yeah. They don't. I mean, they might not tell. Cancer him. on this earth. Among probably a plethora of other neat things. Yeah, he really is just a fragile man who we're cool. all just uh, abusing. <laughs> it is fun to watch him fall. It is it wild. Is. It is. I don't think he's going to, if he does win, he's not lasting, right? We all know That's that. That's what we said the last time. No. No, I never thought that. Last time. I was like, he's the not bike riding and stuff. I felt he had at least four years in him, but I don't think he has. And the walking up the stairs? I just, I don't know. I don't, think, I don't, I don't see it happening. 
A second time. A second time. I no, I just don't see four more years of life, let that's alone. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah <laughs> let alone an office. No, I just mean life. Yeah. yeah the clock is ticking. There's no... He, Running out. Yeah. It, well, it, look at everybody who's at, who's in politics now. It's crazy. Yeah. They're just old. They're all ghouls. They, yeah. And they just... Their brains are freezing. My, my brilliant idea, you, this is how you do it. You make uh, term limits, but yes. they just say this, how they get in. Unless you're in office now. So we're still fucked for 20 years, but they all look like good people. That way you get it in. It. Well, yeah. That way they'll, they'll all allow it. And just like the government, they're fucking people in the future. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't affect them. Who came up with no term limits, though? I don't... It's, Was somebody so just dumb. like, and you can stay here forever because we all live to 48. Yeah, Until that's you probably what it was. Die. Right. Like, there's no other reason... You would allow that to happen because nobody thought you'd be uh, like 92. Wheel your crippled ass on stage. How old are you? I'm 53. You are? 41. 41. Okay. Because I wonder what the collective average age of anyone in Congress was when I was mm. a teen or into high school, whatever it is, versus now. I bet you it's added 30 years to that average Skyrocketing. age. Skyrocketing. Easily. Easily. Because, I mean, JFK was definitely a young buck by presidential standards. Mm. And I mean, he, he was the youngest president elected, wasn't he? He was. Yeah. And it used to be the president would be a little older, like right. Reagan, like mm -hmm. at least to, to me, they all had like, you know, they looked old mm -hmm. experience, but they didn't look crepid. Correct. They didn't <laughs> like the yeah. crypt keeper. They That's didn't the look problem. like they belong in a home and were just let president have died because of a strong breeze. <laughs> I think at the very least, like a cognitive test just to see if you can, can you answer questions? What is blue? What is left and right? But then also, the, if I'm playing devil's dog, advocate, how much does the actual president do? I have no idea. Oh, yeah. You know, I always say with all these things, I'm not the one that's going to figure out the answers. Yes. But I imagine he does not have a lot of power at all. Yeah. No, being on a political network, I can go ahead and tell you that uh, I don't have any idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's no clue. Thanks for uh, pulling the curtains back on that no one. No problem. I just want to let everybody know. Well, it's kind of like the Israel-Palestine thing. Of course I'm with Israel. I'm in show business. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what, what side do you think I'm going to take? <laughs> no, funny. As, again, I know nothing about it. I'm horrible. I'm, I'm probably the worst person for this because I don't follow anything political. Right. But knowing nothing about the other side, the Palestinian side, it's weird that you just can't say anything yeah. positive about it. It's bizarre to me. I don't know the story, but I can't imagine that it's universally just 100% go Jews. I'm sure it's something. All good guys on one side. It's also weird how the whole world hates Jews unless it's Israel. No, I have a feeling it's, yeah, it, there's a lot of people that are still anti that. There's renters in New York that seem to not mind the, uh, the collaboration that took place. Uh, uh, around the corner from me, literally a month ago, a Palestinian restaurant opened. Really? And now there's, I mean, they're going to close in it. Not gonna oh, well, it. who's going to go there? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's not your market. It's such a bad timing thing. It's yeah. awful. Oh, it sucks to have their dream, oh, too. It's awful. What do they serve? <laughs> That's the part I don't get. Yeah, I have no you idea. You have it at a Palestinian restaurant. <laughs> Everything's made with fireworks and explosives. <laughs> hummus. That's probably it. That's it. Hamas. Ha Hamas. Hamas. Well, yeah. Hamas. <laughs> the Hamas hummus. I've never been. You've been to a bunch of countries because you run. You yeah. lost 100 pounds. Yeah, but also I'm, I've been yeah, a big yeah. advocate of travel. I've been to about 60 countries. Wow. What's yeah. your favorite? I do well in the Scandinavian countries. I'm, again, a single creep. We all, You and I know this for right. years, but I do better in Scandinavian, Eastern European countries because I'm tall. So if I'm looking for that, for sure. Uh, Relate. Um, yeah. And then the- uh, I think you're a Viking of old blood. Yeah. yeah. But the, <laughs> the Scandinavian countries are all beautifully clean. People are nice. They're all beautiful countries. What are you trying to say here? Whites? Racist? No wow. whites? No. Wow. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that they do it better. That's all I'm saying. I mean, what's it's very problem? safe. And even if you go to jail, it's not that bad. It's From like what I hear, yeah. But treat. Yeah. I would say that, and I just came back from Hawaii, which none of the country would basically is, and that was pretty beautiful. Is that fire? It was pretty wild. Yeah, it was a, <laughs> Sorry, it's I get it. stupid. I know. It was wrong island, though, but it was, it, was it was good. It was good. Just want to throw you a fastball there, <laughs> See if you had your mitt out. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, was it, would you run there? Is that what you I did, went? yeah, I did a half marathon there in uh, Kauai. Wow. That was pretty wild. I've never been to Hawaii, and I want to go. It was, it was beautiful. I mean, it was everything you think it was going to be it's very majestic i took a helicopter ride and saw where the they filmed jurassic park pretty crazy yeah, yeah. that's awesome what about you said you went to barcelona barcelona ran through the city and barcelona's beautiful did you do the bull thing did you no i think that's would you no 
Oh. It's just stupid. I would just, it would, like, you are not good, winning that. No, you're going against a giant. I'm running right to the first alley. Yeah. It's like have, the play. Right to well, the first you, alley. You, you, you think you like crack the code? Is that yeah. what you do? There's a lot of people who have been hit with horns that are they're paralyzed now. Yeah, I just got to trip somebody, and then he gets mauled, and then I go to the alley. That's true. So you're saying you do want to do it in the hopes of watching other people get mauled from safety. Yeah, but then I could say I did it. Okay. Well, why else do you watch? Aren't you rooting for the bull? Always, but I'm not, I would never run. No. I'm, I'm watching, always voting for the bull. Yeah, I, I, anytime it's a person and an animal... You want, um, the animal to you want the animal to win, win, unless the animal comes out of the wild and is like attacking your dog or family. But if you go to them, yeah, yeah. like or when you Phelps take them and the bring shark. them to you, then it's like it's all on you. I wanted the shark to eat Phelps. That would have been like so cool when they raced. Do you remember that stupid thing? Oh yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's not a race if the other person doesn't know they're racing. No, you know? and the other person's a shark. <laughs> the other person's a shark. <laughs> shark. <laughs> Was that for like Shark <laughs> Week or some if you shit? Just ate them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> the best fucking thing ever. Well, it's like the crocodile hunter getting killed by a stingray. <sighs> it was the funniest. I guess his kid does it now, too, though. Yeah, I saw that. I saw yeah. That was a great Norm bit. He goes, know who died? Shocking. The oh, crocodile hunter. hunter. He goes, I gotta say, 45 <laughs> seems like a ripe old age for a crocodile hunter. He was wild, man. <laughs> wild, man. <laughs> well, yeah, but there's like videos of people who are like holding 10 cobras. It's like, yeah. that's your fault if you yeah. die. <laughs> you seen I, that, that video of the guy who's like in a cave, like digging around for the the snakes and stuff. And he's like, oh, I, I felt him or whatever. And then he's like, no, he's got me. He's got me. Yeah. And he's like freaking out. <laughs> like, yes. Like, you're in a cave yeah. <laughs> trying to find snakes. I did actually go swimming with stingrays, which is pretty wild. Yeah, you could. I've done that in the Bahamas. Yeah, but they're like docile. Yeah, they're not. I well, think so, unless you're trying to tape a special... And they freaking get you right in the they're, heart. They're waiting the for the crocodile. Cameras. Well, waiting. if you grab it by the tail and start <laughs> slapping it on the water, and then Teasing it's like, it with your ass. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you're like, oh, I wonder why it's not so gentle why is it and so elegant. <laughs> uh, so that's your favorite country, though. Like, what's your? Uh, I, I'm not. This it sounds so douchebaggy, but I don't have like. A, I'm not a superlatives guy. I have no favorite anything. Yeah. There's no food I don't like. I've mm. liked. I really. The only don't country enjoy drugs. I don't do drugs. I'm sorry. The only country I ever left early was Colombia. I did not like Colombia. It was just too, so much poverty, and it's like so hard to like mm. walk around. It was really fucking depressing. Really? And I, I was in Medellin. It was fucking depressing. Oh, you were in the. You it was were really in bad. Cocaine Central. It was though. rough. I hated it. Yeah, like well, that was hit hard. Yeah, and like kids walking around with like missing eyes and arms, oh and my it was gosh. fucking. It was not fun. I did not like that at all. Pretty sexy. I mean, it was, it was hot. That's why I was walking around the direction the whole time. Yeah, you're like, I got to get rid of this. <laughs> get out of here. Got to get out of here. Poke another kid's eye out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> no, that's really sad because I I've read books on uh, on obviously Pablo Escobar and seen mm. shows and everything, mm. and then also I'm reading a book now on El Chapo, mm. which I guess you know isn't there, but it's just it is pretty insane the the amount uh the amount of hell those countries have yeah taken. it was hard to, it was hard to be there i cut the trip like four days short i just couldn't deal with it yeah but other areas are supposed to be beautiful like cartagena is supposed to be beautiful but i i've not seen a lot of south america yeah medellin seems like a weird one to do i shouldn't have done it it was yeah. a friend of mine was talked us into it and it was just fucking terrible like, yeah how do i know this one i'm thinking dead guy on a roof like, what is it uh, <laughs> is that one of the just a symptom of us taking pablo out and he, he did a lot of stuff for the community and taking care of kids and all that stuff. Uh, like We could argue against that. You know, <laughs> and then they take him out and the, the government doesn't replace it with also trying to help people around I would him. would imagine so. So then it's just yeah. this power vacuum that a bunch of other criminals come in and start messing shit up. And then you have what yeah, you saw. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, I mean, again, I, I don't, I'm sure that's what happened. Yeah. It seems to be a standard MO a lot of times. And is there really a government? I mean, he basically lived in his own palace with yeah. hookers coming in and out. And they were like, that's your prison. We had this dude on SDR, which I don't, I, I wish I knew for sure this was true. His name was like Gianni or something. He was in, um, Gianni Russo. Yeah. And he was in yeah, uh, had Godfather. Him on, yeah. I had him on a fair one. Yeah. And he said that he got abducted by Pablo Escobar, and the only reason why he lived was that he recognized him from 
the godfather and made him act out a scene and let him go wow i don't know if it's true it's great if it is great story it though. just you know i just i don't know he's my friend's uncle and mike franziz was on though and said that uh a lot of the stuff he says is pretty true if it's true yeah it, He's like, you know, the uh, Forrest Gump of the mafia. Like, he just was in every weird situation. He said he lost his virginity to Marilyn Monroe. That one he said, too. And then he also had his throat slit. And I didn't believe him for a second until he lifted his neck up. And it's just this giant throat slit. But then you look closer and it's just the necklace she's wearing. Yeah, it's true. (laughs) (laughs) Gotcha. (laughs) Which is, I mean, it could have been rope burn. Yeah, yeah, who knows? You really don't know. He could have had a bad day. (laughs) So, yeah, I, a crazy I, life like that. You'd just slip in the Marilyn Monroe story and be like, "Well, because yeah, what it. scene did he act out where James Conn's beating the shit out of him? Yeah, <laughs> I don't, like, started to fight. I I'm started to think, it was me. Like if you think of his character in that movie, yeah, he's either a, hitting a woman yeah. or getting hit by James Conn. Not a lot of too. very powerful lines. No, yeah. like, can you act out? Like we're gonna hit you with trash cans. That's how we got the rope burn. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yeah, no, I just uh, I acted out a scene. It's like, no, you just survived them beating you with trash can lids. Yeah, I, he he came on uh, that show. Nice guy, you know, great storyteller. No, he was a fascinating interview. And even if 30% of it is true, it would still was incredible. Yeah, well, and then Tommy Pope came in all drunk, and then it, it kind of went south after that. Not that he didn't, but he, he kind of shut down a little bit with his stories once he realized someone might call him out. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, I think it was... I think it was real. I mean, I don't know. Well, I also would think want to believe if you're calling out the mob as much as he did and you're not somehow connected, you think they would have done something to you at this point. Yeah, I think they would have absolutely killed yeah. you. Yeah. I mean, I think you either have to be in the Godfather or in the mob. Yeah. Yeah. Like those are the two rules. <laughs> and then you're good. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And but I'll tell you what I'd like to be in. What's that? Miracle made sheets. Oh, me too. They have self-cooling properties mm-hmm. for a quality sleep. Honestly, I have a pair. I love them. I sweat a lot when I sleep. I just get very, very hot. I got to turn the air down to 53. Yeah. Uh, my doctor doesn't know what it is, but he says, you know, you're probably not going to make it much longer. But I'll tell you what, I feel like I'm going to live forever when I'm in a nice pair of Miracle Sheets. Mm-hmm. You can go to trymiracle.com slash normal right now and i promise you you're gonna like them i really do love them i don't normally sleep very well and when i use these i sleep through the night garrett staring at me because i think he still hasn't got a pair <laughs> they're, they're, on the they're, way. they're in the mail they're somewhere on the way you use these no but i, I do them. sleep hot so that sounds interesting dude i'm telling you if you go to Mer- to trimiracle.com slash normal you will also get three free towels and you're not going to be disappointed with those towels either the I towels do they, are they like special like anything unique or they're, they? they're antibacterial just the same okay. okay i may have made that up just they now, whisk but, away the bacteria but that is it's true you get very dirty and then you just you got to wash your sheets all the time with yeah. these i've never washed them once that's how <laughs> clean they are so if you go to america and they'll give you a full <laughs> refund you may want to check out the facts on that last i know because it's know. probably not true <laughs> but i will say i guarantee you you're going to like them and they're going to guarantee you yeah. that you're going to like them because they're going to give you a full refund if you you don't how do you like that you can send back sheets within 30 days and just go i didn't like them 30 days later you're sending back your gross sheets your blood stained yeah. sheets your blood soaked sheets and halloween's coming up you could take your old sheets put them over your head and cut holes in it and yeah it could be a ghost or or you could just or a grand it. dragon or something yeah whatever part of whatever texas you're, you're in it just <laughs> depends on how you feel so go to trimiracle.com slash normal for three free towels and you're going to get yourself a huge discount that's 40%. Is that 40% off? 40%. You're going to save over 40%, 40% off. Wow. With the towels included. Can I ask you a question on it? Yes, sir. Because I will buy these sheets. Absolutely. I'm sheet. telling you, you won't be mad at me. Does it matter the size and you still get the three free to- three free towels? Any size. They got all the sizes. Sheet. Yeah. Any size. All yeah. of them. This is a man of 6'6". Six, six. That's how much they stand by it. Right. All right. That's good to know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You are a head taller than me and a half. A head's a foot? Is that is that I a right? Know. I don't know what I <laughs> I guess a head is a foot. Are you 5'7"? Five, 5'6". Five, I'm six. Well, yeah, I'm yeah. a foot taller than you. You are. You're literally a foot taller than That's me. That's wild. wild. It's sad. It's like <laughs> it's, it's like sad. me looking at my son as you looking at me. <laughs> it's eight. But you will live longer. Again, that is trimiracle.com I, I don't know if I'll live longer. <laughs> my, my brother. I a yes. trend. Go to trimiracle.com. You have a twin, right? My twin brother's 5'7". And so he's gonna live longer for sure. You have a twin brother that's five seven. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. forgot about that. Dang, that's wrong. And we were born in, uh, which is weird. I've said this a lot, but 
We were born in different Betty decades, Eve. which is strange, because I was born New Year's Eve, 1969, at, right before midnight, and he was born four minutes later, January 1st, 1970, so we're twins born in different decades. Very cool. We were two minutes apart, beat that. Were you? Yeah, my brother's uh, my brother beat me by two minutes. And you're oh, identical? You stuck around for a no, little bit. we're fraternal. Fraternal. He's, uh, he's probably four inches taller than me, maybe, in reality, a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. better at sports. But what about your mind? No, no. Look at me. I'm gorgeous. My, my brother's definitely better looking. <laughs> he's definitely better looking. And like far more likable. Like <laughs> just a, he <laughs> has more money. So I just got the height. My brother, <laughs> I'll trade you. <laughs> my brother definitely, uh, I have more money, but that's only because of his lack of responsibility. <laughs> uh, but he also, he, he's a fun guy to hang out with, but he, he likes to drink. And he's the one, if you meet a Landau and you want to have a beer, just talk to my brother he'll join you oh, okay. at uh, my office the girl that just started as our office manager a triplet my first triplet i ever met in my life seriously yeah Those yeah gotta usually be freaky, one's right usually one's dead or they're like we were triplets well two are <laughs> two are identical one's a uh, uh, fraternal so then really? uh, yeah that's weird i didn't know that was a possibility yeah, yeah. Guess, so it just came out of a like a sandwich yeah <laughs> just some really ridiculous like crap in the middle yeah, it's really weird <laughs> yeah it's one of the identicals i think it's weird when like there's quintuplets yeah and they're just popping them out. Yeah. And then if you have five, there's always one that you're like, oof, that's going to be a rough. Can race. you be identical quintuplets? I don't know if you I can. Don't I don't think it's possible. I don't think that's possible. It's too many, it's too many to bake. Maybe Quintuplets. now in the day and age of science. They Making can. two identical humans is bizarre to me. Fucking, it's crazy. It's wild. Like, I, they have I'm, that connection. You guys yeah. have like that connection with no, your fraternals. Right? Don't I think identicals have a connection, okay. but fraternals yeah. don't. My, my brother once had sex with a prostitute and I got herpes. <laughs> So the connection's real. Yeah, yes. it's real. That's the story, and I'm sticking to it. Makes sense. Um, yeah. that's, a, that's the story you told your wife? That's right. I'm like, yeah, you know, Michael and these whores. So itchy. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> the twin. Yeah, no, I guess, I think there's anything with family and your own kids where you can kind of sense yeah. something, right? I think yeah. that's more that you just know the habits of your children or your brother or whatever. Right. Versus when you're sharing DNA, I think there is something there, something probably. Else. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Yeah. Like, do you talk to your brother a lot? You get along? We talk almost every day. That's good. Yeah, we get it's along time. pretty well. Time with my brother. I think it's weird when people have terrible relationships with family. It is weird. Yeah. My, the triplets, one of them don't talk. Oh. One of them doesn't talk to the other two. It's kind of weird. Is she the third wheel? The third one? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, uh, the non identical one. That's that's on purpose. Yeah, that's for like, look, we're just made we're better. Just, we're in the same team. You're not. Yeah. so pissed. Probably just hurt the other one all the time. It's also wonder like which one does best with dudes, which one is the most. It is mm -hmm. weird. The good news is that when you're not identical, you don't compete with your brother like you do when you're identical. They always say like, "Oh, how come he could do this and you can't?" Yeah, I was good at art. My brother was good at sports, and we kind of just that was that. Because yeah. he was super competitive, but I'd be like, "Who are you competing against right now?" Because <laughs> I'm not trying. <laughs> I don't give a crap. <laughs> like this is just this is you competing against yourself. My brother like got laid first, had girlfriends, was always like the cool one. And I was Joey's brother. My whole life I was Joey's brother. Uh, I was yeah, I was Mike's brother until I started drinking and then became fun. And then <laughs> How I was, old are we talking about? Oh, 14, 13. <laughs> okay. And then yeah, but my brother was the one who was more rebellious first, had girlfriends. And then by the time he was in high school, he just wanted to hang out with girls, which we were like, all right, oh. dude, bros before hoes, which I totally regret. That's funny. That's great. My brother, I was sitting in my basement once. We had like a little hangout thing. And our friend was on his phone with his mother. And it was just me and that guy. And he goes, hey, I'm at Joey's house. I'm like, I'm right here. <laughs> Bro. Did you at least say Joey and Ralph? Like Joey and his brother? Like it was just, I did not exist. It was pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> what was your thing that you were good at? Nothing back then. Even the, is the top, were you always taller? Tall-ish, but then I, I grew like seven inches in a year. Okay, because I was the biggest kid in my class until freshman year. Oh, I was always like a little tall, but then shot up like crazy. Okay, yeah. Did you so, draw or something or like a musical instrument? Or? Nothing. I was just yeah. Joe's brother. Did just you play out. basketball? No, we, we were break dancers. You didn't know that, right? I told you that. Oh, you did tell me that. I was in a movie called Crush Groove. And, yes. Uh, nice. Yeah. And then I got really into computers, and then I was wanted by the FBI. For and then hacking. you got arrested for hacking. Uh, what? <laughs> Hold on. You did. can just throw yeah, yeah, shit like that out. He knows that story. But oh, yeah. I do know that story. The movie yeah. Hackers hack is into? based on Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> no, please tell if you well, I was, you, you know, know, I was 15, and we just, this is pre-internet, you know, so yeah. this was, was dial-up modems and stuff. And we would just do dumb shit like uh, 
buy stuff and charge it to the government, you know? And we, you know, we did like conference calling, which you couldn't even do back then. It was like thousand dollar calls. We just charge it to a company and um, crack video games and stuff like that. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And we didn't actually get caught. Somebody else got caught and said, oh, you really want someone go after these guys. And my father had to get a lawyer. The FBI came to my house, badged to the door. Can we speak to the parents of Ralph and Joe Sutton? It was scary as shit. Uh, I've never downloaded a song illegally ever. <laughs> So I couldn't relate. It'd be weird. Well, also because you're younger, right? Yeah. He's, He's 30. Lying. He's, He's 30. lying. Oh. Don't put me out like that. <laughs> Everybody but I, think it, I don't know what LimeWire is. But I think at like 30, you grow up around Spotify when everything is just around. Everything's it. free. So there is no hacking really anymore. Like, well, when I, See, I, had I was growing up and like in my, in my teens, there was LimeWire okay. and there's Napster. And that was kind of when the music companies were trying to figure all that out. They were like, sue the 12-year-old kid that yeah. downloaded Creed. You know, and uh, now it's just fucking. Like, now they're just, just beat up everywhere. The kid they, they downloaded Creed for God's sake. Yeah, exactly. Like, what, well, that's everybody around. Did you do arms wide open and just kicking <laughs> the crap out of them. The that's FBI my screensaver. Just to put a cigarette out on you. I uh, yeah, I, that's well. Napster came out when so, I was a senior in high school, late nineties. Yeah, yeah, we you know CDs and everything, and mm. you didn't really think you were stealing anything. You were like, oh, there's just music, yeah. and you just make an out. You didn't think about it as thievery. It was just online. Yeah, it just you didn't. It didn't even compute because always technology is about ten years ahead of law. Right. It was great for me because I was doing radio at the time, and then all of a sudden I had access to every song ever. It was great. Yeah, I was already stealing everything from Sam Goody and Harmony House. <laughs> That's what I thought stealing was. The fact that I could just get it for free was really beneficial to me. It was a wild time when that came out. That was really cool. It was a oh, good yeah. thing to be a part of. Well, you'd always have like 10 songs and then one song that was completely missed. Like they just mislabeled it, or they, or they did it on purpose, or they would mislabel. Yeah. That's what you would find on LimeWire. You would download a song, you'd be like Creed, arms wide open, and it would just be some local band song that they labeled Creed, so they can get their music out. When um, it was always better. When Guns N' Roses released a song from I forgot what movie it was, but it was like the first new song in twenty years. I whenever whenever the hell it was, they had a, a new song. Howard Stern announced on a Friday, on Monday we're gonna play the new Guns N' Roses. I took that as, okay, that song's out somewhere. It's out there. And my right. show, my old radio show was live on Saturday. So I was like, I got 24 hours to figure this out. And I found it online, burned it on a disc, and I beat Howard Stern <laughs> to it. That Monday comes, he doesn't say anything. The next DJ comes back when K-Rock existed. He goes, right. we know we're not the first to play this. And they played it anyway. And that Monday I got a cease and desist from the label. And we just stopped playing it. But I got... To play it first before Metal. anybody. Was it the spaghetti incident? No, it was the one. It was called something like "Oh My God" was the song, and it was from the new uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie at the time. Oh, Last Action Hero. Yeah, I think, no, no, no. After Wasn't that, it? okay. We're talking about like this was like two thousand. Oh, so it was like the the twin the, one. The lead to uh, the yeah. sixth day or the sixth day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sixth day, yeah. that's what I was thinking of. Well, speaking of music <laughs> in the nineties. Uh, you have chosen a charity, which I think is great, but you will win 100 Garrett dollars. It's very dear to my heart, this charity. Yes, we this have charity is very dear. Dollars. And where's, where's Garrett's dollars? Um, I, I have it. Uh, oh, it's the conversion rate on Garrett dollars. They're very, Garrett. very real, real dollars. Do you have the dollars? I, yeah, I have a, a substitute. Okay, oh, good. Well, okay. We have $100 if you can get these questions right. How many questions? Five. I hope I do. And I want to quiz you because I've done his show many times, Sex, Drugs, Rock and Roll. He's had me on with really great guests, and he's he knows cool. music very well. Yes. Well, you I, really do. We'll find out in a minute. It could, depends on my wheelhouse. Well, let's see. I I kind of tried to go for your wheelhouse, at least in the sense of you were kind of on the radio a little bit at this time, or okay. at least you were old enough to know what was going on. Okay. So okay. Guns and Roses. Okay, wait. We have a stinger. Let's play. What is Ralph now? Oh yeah. What is Ralph now? You know, it's funny. Good song. If I'm, I'm pulling the curtain back a little bit, so I apologize. It's fine. This monitor cuts out every little bit, so I it just does. got to see my stupid face for a half second. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, there we go. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all we wanted you to see. Yeah. That's it. Because well, then. we want you to stay alert. I have no idea what that even Keep is. the mystery. Yeah. But let's start with question number one. The Cure had a UK top 10 hit in 1992 with what song? Was 92. It? Yeah. Yes. Was it? Year of my birth. High. 
Friday, I'm in love. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, I'm in love. Or skid. Well, it's Friday, I'm in love, but I'm surprised that it's 92. It was two. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And now I could be wrong Correct. and written that wrong, and maybe I meant to hit the eight. <laughs> Let or, us know in the comments. Or <laughs> it was in a movie and then recharted again. Oh, that might be it. That's that, very possible. That's what you I think. You are correct. And I forgot to do the A, B, C, D part. That's, that's correct, yeah. But yeah. All right, I number too. two. Yeah. Take Number it. two. Which of the following was not a real member of TLC? A, Left Eye. B, Chili. C, Desire. Or D, T-Boss. You know what would be cool if he said right eye? That would have been funnier. <laughs> right eye would have been better. Yeah, but desire, obviously. I'm now upset yeah, that correct. I didn't do right yeah, eye. Yeah. I almost read it. It <laughs> says <laughs> desire this, this one right eye. on the notes here. What, what, what is this, third eye? <laughs> <laughs> or brown eye? Third Just, eye blind. <laughs> we should have done all eyes. Yeah, this is my own fault. Oh, yeah. <laughs> brown. Number three, question number three. All right. Question three. What was Red Hot Chili Peppers' first hit? Was it Ooh. A, Under the Bridge? B, Give it away. C, slow cheetah, or D, sock for Cox. Hit is a weird question. I'm guessing it's give it away. You are right. Okay. I wrote the wrong one as the correct answer. I was like, wait a <laughs> wait minute. A second. It's give it away. It is. Correct. That's no give it away is before under the bridge, but give it away was right before under the yeah, bridge. Yeah, and it was yeah. the first one that actually charted very well, yeah. and then that's how then blood sugar sex magic uh, came out. Because that was a, and it's a it's a weird term hit because what does that mean? Well, I should have said charted. That. Yeah, charted. Yeah. I would have been on board. Charted. I, I'll go yeah. charted. Uh -huh. But you still got it right. Yes. It was well, their correct. first big. Song. I knew what you meant. Okay. Well, as long as you know. <laughs> Correcting the game here. That's three for three. Good job so yeah. far. Number four. Sonic Youth bassist Kim Gordon wrote a book. What was its title? A. Baselines. B. Girl in the Band. C. Sonic... Well, I can't read that. Matricide. Matricide? What is that? Where you murder a mattress? You murder your mom. Oh. Uh, or D. Lines on my face. You know, I don't know this one. We'll go A on, or sorry, A, again, bass lines. Bass lines. Yeah. B, girl in a band. Girl in a band. C, sonic matricide. I don't know. E, lines on my face. I'm going to go with A. <laughs> well, oh, fuck that's... me. Girl Look in a that band. streak. Broke uh, that streak. Cock Number it's balls. a great book, though. Cock. It's not as good as your book. My book is charted, by the way. It did. Up and 30. Which, by the way, we should plug right now. What's your book? It's called The 100% Guaranteed Guide. To weight loss and fitness. I highly recommend I it that. as a holiday yeah. gift to someone. And I, and I will say this. If you buy my book, you do what it says, and it doesn't work for you, I will give you the money back for the book. Yep. That's 100% guarantee. 100% guaranteed guy. That's why it's titled that. So go ahead and buy. I'm serious. Go and buy it right now and give it to anybody you want as a holiday gift. They're going to be thrilled. Yes. It was. It has a lot done. of research went into that book. Yeah. Uh, you showed. I remember when you first showed it to me. I was like, this is well done. <laughs> And I know people sound like I have sarcasm in my voice, but I don't. You can <laughs> just how he speaks to Amazon or books. A Wherever million. books are sold, it hit number thirty-three in Amazon at one point, which yeah. is pretty well. I have a screenshot of that, but yeah. now I don't know where it is. Well, I'm sure it's dropped significantly. It was only when it came out. And well, Britney Spears' book came out, so yeah, when I mean, you can't compete against Sarah. Yeah, it's true. All right, we're gonna give it. We'll give this to charity if you get this one right. Because I'm only. I, mean, I no. think you're. I mean, you're three and. Three out of four. Three out of four. So, yeah. Okay, you're doing good. Which band had a huge hit with Breakfast at Tiffany's? Was it A, Better Than Ezra? B, Marcy Playground? C, Deep Blue Something? D, Silver Chair? What's funny is this, is that it is Deep Blue Something, but... Uh, Correct. Better Than Ezra was just on SDR. Really? Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. A super cool dude, and him and I became like friend friends, and now we like DM once in a while. Is their name really Ezra? Because they better than Ezra because they beat a band called Ezra. That's what the the that's the myth, right? The myth, but he said it's it, they don't like to say what the real answer is. Uh, they like people to think okay. about it. But I really hope that's. I what really happened. hope it's true, but that's, he he. he I specifically asked that, and there's like that's that great clip from speaking of Norm Macdonald again on SNL. Yeah, but uh. I, he, he wouldn't say yeah, and second place Ezra, Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so, yeah. that's how you know um 
Ugly Kid Joe got their name because they were opening for a band called Pretty Boy Floyd. Oh, and they went with Ugly Kid Joe. <laughs> Ugly Kid their Joe. Name, they created their name Ugly Dude, Kid Joe. Dude, I had three of their cassettes. They just reunited this year. Did they really? Mm-hmm. I would see them live. Well, before we get to going out on that, we do have to give it to your charity that you've picked. Great job, man. One. Hamas. You've chosen yes. Hamas as your charity. As I so. said, it's very near and dear to yeah, my So if we oh, could get, get them in here to take it. Thank you. Oh, okay. All right. Hamas. There you go. That's 100 Garrett dollars. Okay. How did you get my cousin Abdella in here? It's wild. I don't know. I, they, they just knew. How did he make it past? And that has security. been Ask Ralph stuff or something. Uh, Ralph and Music things? Games? What does Ralph, Ralph know? I like that as a statement in general. Like, what does Ralph know? Yeah, what does he know? I don't know. <laughs> you should use that on your show now. <laughs> Steal it. You guys should use that on uh, SDR. <laughs> Just see what you know. Yeah. What does Ralph know? But you got to say it with like condescension. Like, oh, what does Ralph know? Yeah, that's how you know? enter. We're now we're going to play, what does Ralph know? <laughs> <laughs> and just do it that way. I'm mad I got the Sonic Youth one wrong. But what Well, you? it wasn't really a Sonic uh, Youth question right. as much yeah. as the book. And yeah. it's only because it's one of the few books that, that I... You've read? read? Yeah. Oh, it's funny. I actually do read a lot. And that one is uh, that one's a really good one. I listen to books when I run. Dude, I do that, but for some reason I drift too much. Running what, drift mentally or, or mentally or? drift? Well, both, but yeah. <laughs> Into traffic? Yeah. <laughs> my leg just hurts. <laughs> By run, I mean I limp because I have rods in my right knee. Oh, uh, no, it's hard for me to focus on the book like as much as I can music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's like always my music time. I think because I worked in music for so fucking long. Yeah, but it's hard for me to focus. Like, I just think about timing and music. I do the same thing when I'm sleeping. I can't listen to music when I sleep because I think about the the way it's like kind of the same thing, way yeah. the structure of it and like yeah. the, the words and how they are. And I need podcasts to go to sleep because it's like, the nonsense TV about. shows that I don't have to pay attention to. It's yes, same thing. Same, 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 same exact thing. Yeah, yeah. That's what I do at night when I just yeah. want to go to bed. I just put on something. I, I'll read, Seinfeld. but then my mind will start working. So then I have to watch a no brainer show to pass out. Yeah. Yeah, thank God for Family Guy, American Dad, all that shit. That helped I was me. just going to say, dude, Hulu, I basically yeah. watch a Family Guy and an American yeah. Dad or a South Park. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's all it is. It's, it's in my like, house, like, yeah. almost 24-7. Yeah. Playing Have you seen the that. trailer to the new South Park, the Pandaverse? It looks amazing. It's freaking hilarious. I cannot wait to watch. Have you seen it, seen it yet? I'm they uh, gender-swapped all of the main characters. Oh, all black and great. Latina women. Yeah, and it's into the Pandaverse. It's pretty <laughs> that's great. And you know it's going to be perfect. Oh, I fucking love it. That's awesome. I think you're the problem. They have their finger on the pulse, and they have since 97. Yes. It's wild how they Isn't stayed it? so like ahead of the curve and so relevant. It's and, and it's like they've written hit plays. They've mm-hmm. had movies that are great. Hit movies. Amazing. I know they were going to make Book of Mormon into a movie, which I would like to see like how far they go with that. Isn't it also, it's on. mostly, I forget the who's who, but uh, Matt, Matt is the, Trey. which is the crazy hair guy? That's, That's Matt Stone. Yeah. Matt. So Trey, I think, is the more of the prolific writer he is he's more of the the creative force yeah, and matt's like the guy he sounds is a sounding board and he does like matt also does really good voices like butters and like mm-hmm. some of the more challenging ones not mm-hmm. like hartman or whatever All but right. that's always matt yeah Dude, basketball is such an underrated movie loved it feel, nobody talks about that. they movie. hate it too so good why do they hate it i, I don't know love i love movie. that and also what was it or, or, orgasmo right yes. I love orgasmo. orgasmo that was before yeah. Yeah. did you guys hear about how disney might be possibly suing South Park what? because <laughs> because of uh they like race and gender swap the main characters and they really? in the newest episode and they're like very obviously like making fun of Disney doing that. Pandaverse. Uh, but they also have Mickey Mouse beating the That's crap true. out of them. Yeah. <laughs> With purity rings <laughs> yeah. and all this. Yeah. They also have uh George Lucas and uh Steven Spielberg raping Indiana Jones on a That's pinball a machine like but also in their defense that really happened. That's yeah, true. that's true. Yeah. That was something we all witnessed. Well, and then Disney came and did it again. <laughs> yeah. I also, didn't see, I didn't parody, see. parody, you can't be sued. It's so obviously parody. Yeah. That's the part that you'd think. And I wonder if eventually that won't be the case, with like depending on how much money and power you have. Right. That's pretty wild. Because really, that it, you know. It's also weird that Disney didn't go after them for the Mickey Mouse thing, but they'd go after them for this. Yeah. Well, I think because this is such a... Like Mickey Mouse, when they did that, 
Disney was still huge and still revered. Right. And now they basically are just saying you're pandering dipshits and they're making an hour show out Stop of it. talking about us in real life. Yeah, like, just they because... They don't have this... the money they used to, though. Well, no, because they got... they. It's the same with everything. And, I mean, it's hard for me to watch stuff on that with my son when I can go, like, hey, you want to watch Stand By Me? That should be PG. Uh, and they're also... Disney Plus is hemorrhaging money. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think they all are. They're losing subscribers, hemorrhaging money because of their productions. They're ra like railing back all of their production. They're making less movies, less, less shows because people don't want to fucking watch it anymore. I wonder trash. if any of the streaming, like, you know, not stuff like this, but the Netflixes, the Hulus, mm -hmm. which one of them is actually making money? I don't know. Uh, there, well, there was one. According to um, the strike, they're not going to tell you. Right now, it's, it's looking like HBO is one of the top top dogs at least in the always has been and they know what they're doing making tv shows right like disney came in and they started making uh mcu movies but then splitting it up into tv shows and they tried to do the same process that they did with movies and make it a tv show but right. the beats are different in a tv show the the way people watch tv shows is different than a movie so they just like didn't know so a lot of these tv shows kind of failed they were terrible yeah, i mean i, I, like, li I like watch them all and enjoyed them just because i'm such a fan of i grew up collecting comic mm -hmm. books but none of them are like rewatchable good they're, they're freaking throwaway trash yeah, it's awful no oh. and I, the punisher was all right but that's like my favorite but i See, guess that was not that was that was not, pre Disney, that was pre, pre. MCU. yeah uh, it was technically still part of the mcu but then they've kind of now at this point thrown it away and it's now yeah, it's like that thing. first daredevil was good too but yeah, it was and what? disney was going to remake daredevil not, not with the, the same with the same actor yeah. but they've completely scrapped the the staff the showrunners and basically all of the actors except for charlie cox the same the main are you getting one. are you getting wet with all this superhero stuff? i was just like i heard you say the first daredevil was good and i was like <laughs> not that one talking not the movie, oh the not tv the show okay, yeah okay did you see the tv show i've seen some some episodes of it it was pretty Jared good was pretty good it. it's dark yeah. too it, it had one of the Netflix. longest single shot fight scenes in history yeah that yeah, hallway right. shot is yeah. legendary i thought it was good i just didn't yeah i my favorite is of course the jennifer gardner ben affleck master yeah, yeah and the electra it. afterwards yeah. i mean yeah. just oh man evanescence somehow electra was even better that's like amazing they were able to pull yeah, that out. Yeah, I'm like, how did you up your game <laughs> with the without Alan Farrell? Like, there's so. I love that, that movie. Okay, I You're like wrong. Daredevil. Oh my god! Not in like a like a not in like a, this in, movie's good way. No, no, no. Like in a, it, it's kind of really bad. Like Colin Farrell is so over the top ridiculous. Yes. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Like it's just ridiculous. I love it. And then the Evanescence where she's like in her dining room like the, poking yeah. sandbags that are coming out of the ceiling it's so stupid uh, you remember a lot more of that movie i do that. yeah yeah well colin farrell also like he can go so far into a character and make it so ridiculous but still make it believable he's a damn good actor yeah and in that you're like i don't believe a bit of this what is this <laughs> i believe them standing just, in a phone booth for an hour and a half his first right? scene yeah his, trying not to get shot <laughs> his first scene is he he flicks a peanut off of the back of a plane seat into the mouth of an old lady because she's snoring Oh, God. oh yeah, that's what right. is this movie? That's great. It's amazing. And it shows. See, by the way, in Bruges. Oh, in, it's oh, one of the fantastic. best movies my ever favorite made. Movies all time, yeah. One of the best ever made. So good. And it's uh, I watched their. Th it's okay, the one that they made recently. New one. It was fine. Yeah, it was okay. But no, in, in Bruges, Bruges was such yeah. a masterpiece that it's like he, Colin Farrell is just such a complete idiot. It's great. And the whole idea of it is so tragic. Like, there's so few movies that are that dark and that funny. Yeah, it's one of those like go tos where I tell people if you've never seen that movie, just watch that movie yeah i've never had anybody watch it who's in like that's just like it's just a perfect film it's a great movie it's great there's very few perfect movies it's that and daredevil it's like it kind of reminds me yeah of right kiss, there kiss, bang, bang. up there what? did what you ever it? see kiss kiss bang bang great movie that's a good movie yeah with val, val kilmer, kilmer and, and robert uh, downey jr that's the one that got robert downey iron man was that yeah. movie yeah yeah that, that kind of in bruges is uh, almost kind of feels like it's in the same vein in a way it is that same kind of dark comedy but uh, yeah it's Fantastic. Both of those. Go watch those movies. Yeah. Kiss Kiss Bang. And oh, we got to do a Halloween movie recommendation. We should. Yeah. We, I, I'm trying to think. Have of you been watching today. any lately? I've been watching. Some. I watched Scream 5 and it can eat my... Did it? What I just a, watched Scream 2 last night. Well, Scream 2 is fine. It's actually good. That's good. Scream 5 I watched on the plane. Is it? I watched it on the plane too. How mad were you at the it's ending? It was just awful. Oh, when you're going, you couldn't do that. Yeah. 
So awful. <laughs> you can't do that. I'm, I'm going through the whole movie series. <laughs> the whole uh, thing is just this giant hole at the end of the movie where you're like, this isn't real. You're, and then the monologues are getting, like, it's so complicated uh, that the monologue to explain what happened before they try to kill you uh, is seriously 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, rough. you're like, just sh like stab them. I love movies. Like we, like, uh, I watched, I know what you did last summer a few weeks ago. Yes. It's a good movie. And those movies, because the fucking story is so complicated convoluted they have these scenes about every 15 to 20 minutes where they stop down and one character just explains what's just going exposition. on it'd be cool if they just turn to the camera and go okay <laughs> look look here's what's happening yeah they're like listen we couldn't fit this all in. <laughs> it would take forever and I've, I've always on uh on str there's like an ongoing joke that like I'll, i have so many weird stories in my life like I, you know this, but I was I DJ yes. for the nine eleven terrorists, like just fucking what? weird shit like yeah, that, right? I have so many, but I was. Uh, they were just here getting his check. Oh. Yeah, that was one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I did a lot of like I was in an episode of Twenty One Jump Street. Like it's so many weird things that happened. Nice. But Nightmare on Elm Street three was a big hit. Oh yeah, that's the one with the, the dream, gay stuff, dream, right? Dream <laughs> Warriors is <laughs> arguably great movie. homoerotic. <laughs> yeah, but that movie is arguably, in my opinion, the best one. It is great. It is great. I when people he trash into the TV, it. dude, Dream Warriors is great. great. I stand and, by. And it. a great yeah. Dawkins yeah. song, also by the way, in the movie. Yeah. Um, so then the fourth one, which is dog shit, was about to come out, and I was I, uh, a nightclub promoter for the Palladium, which was a big rock, club, a big club in New York at the time, and we did a. Um, like a, a movie preview release party and Robert England was there. Grandpa from the Munsters was there. Um, and this is the weirdest thing. They said, All right, we need five of you to dress up like Freddy Krueger, come up with a dance and dance <laughs> around them on stage. <laughs> like the Urkel? Like, like you got to come up with we like came a up Freddy Krueger? We called the Freddy Slash. We all had masks on, the, the, the glove on and the red and the, uh, black sweaters. Yeah. And we danced around Robert England and fucking Grandpa from the Monsters. Wow, <laughs> how fucking <laughs> weird is wild. that? For the, it's wild. amazing for the release of Nightmare on Elm Street Four. Oh, dude, that's yeah. amazing. That's I remember. Weird. Oh, I, I'm not. <clears throat> we're me. just gonna end on that one, but we do have to get back to our question. End of the world. So first, let's do promo. We got to start doing our guests first. I we think. should. I think we. I should. think it's rude not to. Where can we find you, Ralph? Uh, I'm ever at I am Ralph Sutton. Uh, the podcast, the SDR show comes out twice a week. We had, this past week is Gavin Rostell from Bush and we have the cast from, uh, the state and, uh, Reno 911 coming out this weekend. I think my other podcast called good sugar, which is on health and wellness. We have a store on third Avenue and 69th street with no single use plastics and all good, healthy food there. And then of course, gas digital network, which has 22 shows on the network now, Legion of Skanks, yes. Michael Bisbing, uh, Michael Mouse's former home. Uh, yes. Part of the problem is on there. A bunch of good shows on there. Real ass pod. Real ass podcast on there. We just did Skank Fest. And I can't say who right now, but we are putting out, uh, we're filming in February, a phenomenal roast that is going to be filming in Peoria, but it's going to be really cool. Yes. And I, I hope I'm. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I put your name in the mix already. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> This weekend, I'll be at the Funny Bone in Toledo, Ohio, one night only on Saturday. That's this Saturday. Two shows, Toledo Funny Bone, and also October 27th and 28th. You can see me at the Funny Stop in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, because I'm doing all Ohio for some reason in a row. So go to DaveLandau.com for tickets. Hey, you could uh, find me in my room staring at a wall and uh thinking about nothing and also on nerdrotic and nerdrotic live where we do a friend we do a cool little show it's about cryptids and weird future past things we do a lot of stuff it's uh forbidden frontier i don't ever plug it but uh if you're in that kind of weird stuff we talk about it i land on it a lot ufos and stuff you said it's about cryptic cryptids what's that you know, like a bigfoot you didn't see the video of bigfoot recently it's very compelling yeah, it's pretty... You know that uh, I've talked about desert. this uh, at, at length, at what the Loch Ness Monster is. Do you know that whole story? No, I want to know. We can hold on can she, for a minute. Yeah. We can go a little low. I want to know. I want to know. Can she pull up things yeah, for you I to can. see? I she can. can. All right, Google uh, Loch Ness whale penis. <laughs> and <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> just do me that favor. And then there's, there's going to be a side-by-side -side image. This is what all the mythical serpents were. 100%. Whale penises. Was it... The, the, just, let's see if she can find that image. You'll see it. It looks exactly like what you How think. How to get in the lock. The lock is connected to the ocean. 
Is it? Through a it series is. of underwater caves. Oh. It's just whales coming up there showing their, their peens. Yeah. One picture of me yeah, yeah, getting dude, out of the shower. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I <can> see <laughs> it. It's compelling. They're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, that just makes sense. All right. I, we, yeah, have, we have to see the whale up. Or in, mm. in post. No, no. Oh, she's got it? Oh, okay. <laughs> the word, <laughs> she's got it. <laughs> you see it. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because I think. There's no debating it. And that's. All right. Okay, let's you heard see. it in her voice. She was like, oh, oh that's, that's... Wow, that's... Yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, what that it is. is the Loch Ness Monster. That is what that so is. So whales turn over and stick their penis in the they air. They do it all the time. You know how many people have Dang. gone there just to look at whale penis? Yeah. Like, we could get a glimpse of Nessie. Look it. I saw it. It's white. <laughs> penis. And it sprayed in my face. <laughs> yes. <it's, laughs> it was trying to the, talk to me. <laughs> I felt the spray from Nessie. A little sticky. <laughs> oh, I wanted us away from it, so it sprayed goo on our boat. <laughs> And now the whole boat has herpes. Yes, who knew? <laughs> All that and more you could see on Nerdrotic Live. Old Nessie Frontier. has herpes. Now, let's go to our question. The end of the world. This one's for uh, Cheryl Summers. What celebrity <laughs> <laughs> do you wish would live forever? Oh, Give man. Me. Uh... Bruce Campbell. That's, That's a, a Bruce good one. My favorite an answer. actor. That's a solid answer. Angela. Cheryl Summers. I miss That's her. The, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> I Legends, wish, Cheryl. Legends. I wish she would come Legends back. Legends never die, though. With, with her bun master. Mm -hmm. Suzanne Summers and the butt master dancers. <laughs> uh, don't show it to me again. It, it hurts too much. <laughs> Your zipper. <laughs> and then, <laughs> all right. I'm going to say just because it'd be funny to watch him still try and date 25-year-olds, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, oh I like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm going with Steven Seagal because he's been sitting for the last decade in movies, <laughs> and I just want to see him get fatter and That's sit cool. more in martial arts films. Literally fights sitting in a chair. Even like, in South Park when they brought, that was fucking brilliant. <laughs> that was a brilliant episode. <laughs> oh, my yes. God. So that's my take. All right. Thank you all for tuning in. We will be back tomorrow, same time, same place. See thank you, you again to our, Ralph, our, our guest, Ralph Sutton. Call me your Ralph. That's fine. Our Ralph. To my Ralph. Give it up for my Ralph. And good night.